Today, we'll crochet potato mom. For this part, we need to use khaki yarn, crocheting with a 2.0 millimeters hook. Let's now explain in detail the crocheting method for each round. To start, we work into a magic ring. Here's how to crochet into a magic ring. First, hold the end of the yarn, wrap the yarn around your little finger, then loop it around your index finger, and once more around your middle finger. Hold it down with your thumb, insert the hook into the first loop, catch the yarn and pull it through. This completes the magic ring. Wrap the yarn again and pull it through the loop on the hook. Completing the chain stitch. In the first round, we need to crochet six single crochet stitches. Here's how to make a single crochet stitch. Insert the hook close to your finger, catch the yarn and pull it through leaving two loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn again and pull it through both loops in one go. This completes our first single crochet stitch. Place a stitch marker on this first stitch. For subsequent rounds, place a stitch marker on the first stitch of each round. I won't repeat this instruction later. Now, let's continue with the second stitch. Insert the hook in the same way. Catch and pull the yarn through. Then wrap the yarn and pull it through both loops. With two single crochet stitches completed, please continue crocheting on your own. Once done, tighten the ring. From the side, you can see the stitches made by the hook. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch in the first stitch marked by the marker. The slip stitch is made by inserting the hook into the first stitch of each round. Marked by the stitch marker, wrapping the yarn, and directly pulling it through the loop on the hook. This concludes our first round. Now, let's crochet the second round. This round consists of six single crochet increase stitches, which means crocheting two single crochets into each stitch, resulting in a total of 12 stitches for this round. Let me show you. First, make a chain stitch. Our first stitch is crocheted into the same stitch as the previous round slip stitch. Then crochet another single crochet into the same stitch. This completes one single crochet increase stitch. I'll demonstrate another set. Then please continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And with that, our second round is complete. Next, we crochet the third round. This round involves a pattern of one single crochet stitch followed by one single crochet increase stitch, repeated six times for a total of 18 stitches. Here's how. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet one single crochet. followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes one set. I'll demonstrate another set. Then please continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch.
and our third round is complete. Now, onto the fourth round. This round follows a pattern of one single crochet, one single crochet increase stitch, and then another single crochet, forming a set. Repeat this set six times for a total of 24 stitches. Let me show you. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet. then a single crochet increase stitch. Followed by one single crochet. This completes a set. I'll demonstrate another set. Then please continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And our fourth round is finished. For the fifth round, the pattern is three single crochets followed by a single crochet increase stitch, forming a set. Repeat this set six times for a total of 30 stitches. Here's the demonstration. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet three single crochets. followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes one set. I'll demonstrate another set. Then please continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And with that, our fifth round is complete. Let's crochet the sixth round. Round six and seven consist of 30 single crochets each, without any increases or decreases, ending with a total of 30 stitches per round. Let's start crocheting. First, make a chain stitch. Then crochet the first and second single crochets. Please continue crocheting the seventh round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And our seventh round is complete. Next, we crochet the eighth round. In this round, the pattern is two single crochets followed by one single crochet increase stitch, two single crochets, repeated six times for a total of 36 stitches. 
Here's the demonstration. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet two single crochets. followed by a single crochet increase stitch. Two single crochets. This completes one set. I'll show another set. Then please continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And our eighth round is complete. Let's crochet the ninth round. Rounds 9 and 11 consist of 36 single crochets each, without any increases or decreases, ending with a total of 36 stitches per round. Let's start crocheting. First, make a chain stitch. Then crochet the first and second single crochets. Please continue crocheting the 11th round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And our 11th round is complete. 